It is time to get out of here, guys. And a good morning, a good morning to you guys. How's everybody doing this fine morning? Are you all having a fantastic day like me? I sure hope so. We got another nice sunny day today. I love it, I love it. Yeah, we, uh, I think I forgot to mention on yesterday's video where I parked for the night. I am in Cook, Minnesota. And it ended up being a beautiful, beautiful sunset here last night. I didn't get it on video, but I took a couple of pictures of it. Man, it was nice. It really was. But yeah, here we go. Time to get back on the road and get a few miles behind us, right? That's right. Hopefully we don't encounter as many bugs today as we did yesterday. Oh my goodness, there for the last little while yesterday evening, I had a ton of bugs on my windshield. I couldn't, I couldn't make any more video uh, there towards the evening. It was just too terrible. So, I cleaned it all off this morning, opened up the hood and cleaned all the bugs off the windshield. And here we go. We're ready to go. Figured I'd start making videos right away before we get bugs on the windshield, right? <laughs> just like the other day, I, I was recording and I just cleaned the windshield, right? And I, I got back on the road, I started recording and uh, uh, a little bit into my recording, boom, right there in the center of where my camera is on the windshield. It's like, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes it's difficult to try and keep this windshield clean, but hey, it's only for a short time, probably for about a month worth of time. And then after that, it's not so bad. You still get bugs here and there, but the worst is usually uh, right now is when all the bugs come alive and everything's starting to come alive, right? All the trees are starting to get nice and green and next weekend is opening for camping and all that stuff. So yeah, everything is coming alive here summer is pretty much officially hit so uh, I mean it doesn't mean that we couldn't get another snowstorm like we saw last week's video but uh, it is getting slimmer and slimmer right now it is it really is it's starting to get nice and warm throughout the day like yesterday was plus 20 beautiful beautiful so I'm sure today by the time I get further south, it's going to be beautiful as well. But we'll see how far we make it today. I have 842 miles currently left to go before I get to uh, Jackson. And then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens, right? Just made it on to the 94 here about 40, 45 to 50 minutes ago. and. Uh, now it's starting to look like we are going to be getting some rain here, maybe. We'll see. I mean, it's a little, a little lighter over there, but just this last little stretch that I drove in, it was pretty dark, but it is getting closer and closer to that time where I think I'm going to go make me my pit stop, take my uh, mandatory half an hour break. I think that's what we're going to do here in a bit. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I haven't had anything to eat yet today, so... I got food in the truck, I just gotta make me a pit stop and warm it up and uh, we'll have us a good lunch, right? It's already 12.36 in the afternoon and uh, just went past Black River Folds uh, exit there a little bit ago, well a couple of miles ago anyways. And I know there's a rest area coming up here very shortly, so uh, that's where I'm planning on pulling into. Oh yeah, I see the blue sign up there, one mile, yeah, that's good. I'll go into that uh, rest area and heat me up some lunch and we'll have a good bite to eat and meanwhile I'll take our half an hour break and we'll be out of here again, right? Hammer down. We still have 583 miles to go to Jackson. Should be no problem making it there by tomorrow by lunch is what I'm thinking. Depending on how everything goes, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll probably go up to South Beloit again in that area, go to the Loves and fuel up, take a shower later. Oh, I see like a Wolverine or whatever that's called. One of those that looks like a rat, but it's a little bit bigger than a rat. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's what it looked like. 
But anyways, here's the rest area coming up. So we'll go ahead and pull in here and do all our good stuff that we got to take care of, right? So here we go, guys. We have made our pit stop. So what are we having for lunch, right? We got some leftover uh, pork meat and uh, some yuca. That's right. So let's go ahead and have us a good lunch. And uh, I'm starving, man. So <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get something in my stomach ASAP. I'm telling you, that lunch was delicious. No, I'm not hungry whatsoever anymore. Am I ever happy about that? We've taken our half an hour. Now it's time to get out of here. Still haven't gotten any rain yet, but it looks like it could. You know, all of a sudden it could just open up and we could have a bunch of rain, but yeah. Now we got about, I would say two and a half to two and three quarter hours up to South Beloit there. And then uh, we'll make us another pit stop. I'll see if I'll go in there and take a shower there or I'll have or if I'll wait till tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get down there, right? It's 1.30 in the afternoon right now, and we are out of here, back on the interstate. That's right. That's a plan anyways. We'll see what happens, right? I know uh, I still have 580 miles to go, so if I go another, well, let's say two, uh, I would bring it down to uh, probably closer to 400 miles if I get there. Yeah, I definitely want to try and get down the road a little bit further than that. So depending, yeah, so 130, so 230, 330, 430, or a little around 4, 415, I should be, should be uh, there. So, uh, hmm, I'm kind of debating. Should I go in there and take a shower or not, right? We'll see. I still have almost a half a tank of fuel, so I can actually go a little bit further. I wouldn't really necessarily have to go in there and make a pit stop, so we'll see. I might not even go in there and make a, make a stop. We'll see. In the meanwhile, keep that left door closed and hammer down. I am now almost up to Bloomington. Yeah, we are already in Illinois. I don't think I've recorded a clip up here in Illinois yet. But we are already in Illinois and we've gotten some rain here over the last little while. I'm trying to keep my windshield uh, wipers going as much as I need to. Of course, to, you know, get some good shots out of here. But I think we are going to call it a day once we get a little bit past uh, Bloomington. That's kind of what I'm thinking anyways. We got 16 more miles and we'll be in Bloomington and then I'll be uh, going through there, going down I-55 South. And I'm thinking about going to that uh, road, uh, road Ranger that I was at there uh, last time I went up to uh, Jackson, Missouri. I stopped at the exact same Road Ranger I think we just got to slow down up here. It looks like left lane closed. So yeah, I think I'm going to go up to that same Road Ranger. Now, I remember that from last time it had a really, really rough parking lot, but uh, doesn't matter. At least we can spend the night there. All right, this guy is slowing down even more. That's all right. We'll just slow her down. We got no choice, right? <laughs> Left lane is closing and we're we're not going to attempt to try and go around them. Try and cause an accident, right? We like to leave lots of space. That's one tip that I always like to tell you guys that, you know, leave yourself a lot of space between you and the other vehicle. This way if all of a sudden it does come to a complete stop, you can definitely uh, you know, come to a complete stop yourself, right? Because you're giving yourself lots of space. Especially when you have a heavy load like I do. Which I do have a heavy load. And, uh... No, I was going to say I'm going to go over there and call it a day. And then 
I, I forget exactly how many miles we got. I got my GPS already set to go over there, so we got a total of 35 miles to go up to uh, the truck stop where I'm going to be spending the night. But I think it's another, I want to say roughly five hours. Around that anyways, I want to say from there up to uh, Jackson, Missouri. Oh man, this stretch is rough. Yikes. No wonder they got to do some construction up here. I don't remember this being this rough last time I come do down here, but I might have, I just forgot probably. But anyhow, here we go. Everything is starting to get nice and green. I love that. You guys know that. It's an end of construction zone so we can get her back up to speed. And hammer down, right? I just parked for today, guys. I am done. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And so now I'm actually charging up my uh, drone batteries and uh, all that. My iPad is behind that. I don't know if you can even see it. And uh, just finished uh, warming up some food here. So let's take a look on what we're having. We got some mashed potato, some uh, green beans, corn, and some chicken. Yeah, that's gonna be my good supper here tonight. So thank you very much for the wife to uh, have cooked this for me. And uh, for all of you guys out there, I know it might be a little bit late, but uh, happy Mother's Day to all of you guys out there. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and have supper, and I'll talk to you guys in a few. Well, after supper, guys, we got kind of tired and went <laughs> straight to bed. So now it's the next morning, and we got amazing sunshine right now. I love it. I love it. But anyways, we are... Uh, going to go ahead and close off the show here for today. I really do appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog. So come and follow us on tomorrow's journey and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, share this video, do all them things that make us love this job guys. See you tomorrow.